Kenny Hamlin, he got four tires. Ross Chastain, as well as Timmy Hill, Landon Castle, they only went with those two tires. Oh, Chastain loose and up the hill from the front bumper of Hamlin, and the lead has changed. Last lap. Thanks to iRacing. Absolutely. And Denny Hamlin is going to take the checkered flag and bookend the series, winning the opener at Homestead and the finale at Virtual North Wilkesboro. Fantastic. Timmy Hill second, nine tenths of a second back. Tyler Reddick, Ross Chastain, and Austin Dillon. And there is. <laughs> Chastain watermeloned him after the flag. Heard I guess he didn't season. Didn't appreciate that uh, tag from Hamlin nope. into the bumper, huh? Uh, there is no champion. There is no points. There is no, you know, it's an invitational. Everybody come and have fun, and we're happy to have you. They continue to race each other so hard, getting into the wall, and here comes Brandon Jones. Two laps to go from Darlington. After that last lap through one and two, Brandon Jones knows anything can happen. Let's take a look what happens. The 54 right at the left rear quarter panel of the 10. Trying to pass him clean. They come off of turn two, side by side for the lead. Yeah, this could get the slide job that he's looking for right here. He's got more momentum this time. Trying to keep on his right rear. He's out front, but can he hold it against the wall? He gets over, into the wall. So does the 10. Contact made. Here comes here. the 19. Brandon Jones is leading. One lap to go. Presented by Credit price. One Bank. So Ross bounces off the fence. Denny did not. I don't think Denny really loved the fact that he dove up there and took that shot, took that chance, you know, to try to fit his car into such a small space this early. Here's the move. And Denny. Push him down the back. Clear, clear All those turn him into the outside in wall. Still pushing him. Still pushing him. Still clear. He definitely moved him. Probably frustration. He was door to door with him a lot of times. Got under him several times. Could not make the pass. He finally made the pass. That's not going to be. Denny is not going to be happy about that. Are y'all going to say it or me? Go ahead. Okay. Uh, the 11 is waiting on Ross Chastain, I believe. Or, or is he? Uh, here we go. Yes, he might be. Here we go. Oh. Right, down. Out there on his high, really oh. tight. <laughs> it was a show. He ran down the racetrack and then tried to get to him. But obviously, the handling's down. You knew he was going to show his displeasure. Maybe is that all he showed? So, is that it? Well, that was the first stab at it. <laughs> and they have a history together. Jamie. Well, Jamie, right before we saw what just happened down there in the corner, I checked with the 11 team. They said that he absolutely did not have an issue in the corner. They felt like they had just gotten run into was all that took place. And based on Denny's reaction, I'd say that that's how he feels. We are intensely watching. I can. T well, let's listen to this. This is uh, number 11. 35 back to the two and one. The tower just said they thank you major uh, point. <laughs> Right. And that puts a period on that. Here we go. Round well, round three. Well, we'll keep an eye on this as Kyle Busch leads Joey Logano by a second and a half. Brian Blaney another second and a half back. Clint, here they are. What do you think? Timing's a little bit better. But <laughs> a Chastain may wreck him again. This is good. He's definitely messing with him. Inside, inside. Yep. Held him up about as long as he could. Uh, Hamlin and Chastain are just going to end up side by side on this restart just <laughs> by chance. Hamlin nine laps down and Chastain one of the last cars on the lead lap ahead of uh, B.J. McLeod who got the free pass. And right behind Ross is his other buddy. Tell me Chase the Lord don't have a sense of humor. <laughs> How so does that work? There's, there's Chase right there with him. This could be almost as fun as the front of the pack where Michael McDowell and Eric Almirola share the front row. Christopher Bell, Todd Reddick, Eric Jones, Kevin Harvick. Here we go. It's going to be wild again, Mike.
Well, Denny didn't, but... Oh, jeez. Oh, <laughs> what a double... It's a double up. A double a tag team. It's the worst case scenario. Both cars you wrecked. Start meanwhile, side by side to you. Meanwhile, back at the lead, Michael McDowell takes off <laughs> from Eric Almirola and Christopher Bell. It ain't over, Michael. Nope. One still got to pass Denny. And Denny's not giving him any room at all. I'm going to tell you what, this is a show. Now, there's only one solution to this. Park them both. What are you going to do about Chase? <laughs> but look at the enjoyment we're getting. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, man. Not, nothing behind you guys here. <sighs> After Chase and Denny, you know, fighting over the years and having trouble, now the fans are both. I'm telling you, the one is still having trouble. Hey, now, Chase, Denny remember, Hamlin. Um, the one... If he is considered to have been damaged in that crash, he has three laps to make minimum speed or they'll park him. Look at the fans. Everybody the way, man. Nice is watching this. Take care of your nose. That's Brandon McReynolds. Who he said, push him out of your way, man. The one spotter. He's got three laps to get up to minimum speed or NASCAR will pull his scoring card as they did last week with Bubba Wallace. I wonder if they've mentioned that or thought of that, the team. Jamie? And Michael, right when you asked that question, the one team got on the radio and said, remember, we have to clear the clock here. Well, this, he finally made the pass, so he can clear the clock. So on the restart, Chase Elliott was right on Chastain's bumper, and Denny Hamlin to his inside. No <laughs> friends. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> that's why you don't poke the bear right there and I hate to say it but I'm, that's what happens there's consequences to every action and unfortunately Ross Chastain is experiencing those consequences and that wasn't all this continued for uh, about a lap and a half position Truex back to the bottom oh! oh the 11 sideways can he hang on to it they wreck Lock her down here. Lock her down. Get the, the one caution will come out. There'll be another restart. Crack is Lasky down there in the grass. Lock it down. Lock it down. Lock it down. Lock it down. Everybody did a really, really good job there. I thought that was going to be a bigger wreck than it was. The one car gets in the left rear quarter panel, and Denny Hamlin turns him sideways in front of the field. Uh, Denny Hamlin has had enough of Ross Chastain this year. It's not going to help. Right front down. And left front could be down as well for Brad Keselowski as he's going to try to limp around the racetrack and not do too much damage to the front of that car. Yeah, you mentioned it, Jeff. These two have had quite the history since St. Louis. Well, let's go back and see what happens. See me drive in the corner. Chastain just up the racetrack into the back, into the quarter panel of Hamlin. So this is the frustration I think drivers have with Ross Chastain. When you interview him, he talks about how he's going to try to do it differently and race differently. And then here we are. He just climbs the banking. I'm sure his car is probably not handling as he had hoped, but his contact spins Denny Hamlin out. I'm with you, Steve. You got a gas pedal in there. Chastain yeah. is going to have to make a decision on what does he want to do? Like he's up the racetrack right here. He's lost the nose. You're going to have to lift. I mean, you got to lift and get off of the guy, no matter who it is. And he's going to have to clean these things up. It just He's a professional race car driver. He's a winner. One car way up the racetrack. We know these two don't love each other. Oh, Ross, is he going <laughs> to? He drives it down in there. I didn't know if he was trying to get to him or not, but he is on the inside of this 11 car, Denny Hamlin. Off the corner, down the back straightaway. These two guys. Have a history. The lead change about to happen. There's the, eight, the 19 has caught Briscoe quickly. Yeah, that 19, you know, we talk about track position. He, he has more than track position. He has a great race car. He continues to show it. My goodness. Chastain had worked himself into the top 10, and now he's struggling. Let's see what happened here down in the corner. Denny. Little contact right there, pushes the one up the racetrack. Parker. Oh, guys, we see these two, the 11 and the one, race each other so tightly. I asked this, our Chastain's crew chief, Phil Surgeon, about that and said, do you talk about this? Because this is obviously becoming something that's gone longer than just one week. 
And he said, yes, we absolutely have talked about it, but we all agreed. We're here to race. We're not going to race him any differently. If he's in front of us, we're going to try and pass him. And we don't ask him to race any differently. We cannot do that. We just have to race. And if he chooses to do something out of our control, meaning the 11, then so be Green flag back in the air. Very tight in the first six cars. Chastain up the racetrack. Here comes the 11. They lean on each other a little bit. Chastain oh! into the wall. Hard into the wall. He goes around. He'll hit the inside wall as well. Caution has come out. Big damage to the four car of Harvick. He came across. The, the one car came across the nose of the four. And he has severe damage. Well, we talked about it. C. Chastain drives in the corner deep, gets up the racetrack. Hamlin immediately up the racetrack, pushes Chastain out of the line and into the wall. I was really, really happy with the weather at turn two. Hamlin around. Man, those two always seem to find each other. The one and the 11. Ross Chastain and Denny Hamlin have a history. They were racing for 12th. Well, it's not going to go away tonight. No. Well, the one's all the way down on the rumple strips. I'm just not sure. Well, is the door open? Yes. Do I, am I going to say that, sell that as a dive bomb? Absolutely. I mean, that's just the way I see it. You know, I, I, Denny Hamlin didn't expect him to dive bomb it in there, but if you're Ross Chastain, you're going to say the door was open. Rivalry renewed. The hole's getting deeper and deeper. They're back. Denny Hamlin, Ross Chastain going at it. Old friends meet again. <laughs> and, and, you know, this was there on that late race restart. And, and Brandon McReynolds spots for Ross Chastain. I called him on the way to the studio and see, it's still going on down the back straightaway. I said, tell me what happened earlier in the race that provoked this. He said, Dad, absolutely nothing. But here's what just, I, I just shake my head. Denny Hamlin doing that, both of them were going to have a top 10 finish. Not only did he end Ross Chastain's day, he ended his own day. They go back there and finish 23rd and 24th. I, I, I have a tough time connecting those dots. Yeah, it didn't make a lot of sense, Larry. And watching it from a bird's eye perspective, it appeared Denny got a little loose, a little tight, chased his race car up the racetrack, and just happened to be between he and uh, this Ross tells Chastain. The story here, but, but, but this tells a different story. You see Ross Chastain's in car on the right. He's right against the wall. He gets squeezed into the wall, but take a look at Denny Hamlin's in-car camera on the left. He throttles back up, going down the back straight. You want gives some him more? <laughs> you want some more? He gives him a couple of shots, and then he even gives him another shot getting into turn three. So, like you said, Adam, so something doesn't make sense here, but but I, I think Denny's got that, that shovel, and, and he's he's digging in the, in the dirt a little bit. Maybe they they're like magnets on the racetrack every single week. All right, mm -hmm. Denny discussed his most recent run-in on his weekly podcast, Actions Detrimental. Take a listen. I'm about to get passed by everybody behind me who's on fresh tires. I'm going. I'm about to finish in the mid-teens. And I said, you're coming with me, buddy. Really? I let the wheel go, and I, I said, he's coming with me. And so... I've said for a while, well, you got to do something to get these guys' attention, whatever, and I've said it, and, and I think that <clears throat> Ross doesn't like it when I speak his name on, in the media and, and when I had this microphone, but I told him, well, I have a microphone, and I, I'm going to call it like I see it, um, and until you get a microphone, you can then say whatever you want about me, but the fact is, is while I'm sitting here talking, I'm going to call things the way I see it, and sometimes I'm going to have to call myself out, which I'm the dumbass who lost just as many spots as he did. But at the time, I said, well, I'm going to finish anyway, and I'm just going to make sure that he finishes right here with me.